we're able to be right on the cutting edge of what's happening. And it's, and it's because we're a very small school. We believe it's very important if you're teaching a skill, um, something that's technical, that students need to have instructors in the field with them as they're shooting and to have that teacher understand all of the challenges that you're facing as a, as a shooter because they're standing right there with you. We love working in the field with students. We love that one-on-one -on -one time. That famous saying that every photo you ever take is a self-portrait sort of like kind of tapping away at, at, at what lies behind the image. What, what is the real subject of the image? What does it make you think about? What does it make you feel? The reason why I give them the self-portrait assignment is because I'm asking for them to do a series of images. So it's a photo series of five to seven pictures, something that is very close to them. I want for them to feel very, uh, to be a very intimate subject. So I teach a class on, pre on presentation. It's, it's all about um, uh, framing, matting, mounting your images. We, I teach them about traditional framing with wood and metal frames. I teach them about installation. One of the things that I'm sort of passionate about is how our images live in the world. And it's another part of the idea of getting the images off the computer screen and, you know, out in the world. And our students so often, they have thousands and thousands of images in their laptop. And I love it that they come away from summer intensive with a framed piece of work that they made. And it incorporates all of the classes that they took. If you really want to do it, I think that everyone should know that we're all capable of becoming professional photographers. I do. Call me crazy. I bet a lot of people will, but they do.